All year on The Loop Show, we've been looking at glass cockpits. We looked at Avidyne's Release 9 and then Garmin's G600. But they're pretty expensive bits of kit and the price tag, well, it's pretty up there. If you don't want to spend quite as much money as that, Aspen Avionics have the PFD 1000 and we've come to look at it installed on this older PA32. Aspen Avionics is a relatively new company into aircraft electronics. It's concentrated on developing a range of flight information displays that can be installed into existing aircraft instrument panels without too many modifications. That brings the cost down to a much more affordable level, about £10,000 for the EFD 1000 installed in this lovely PA32 owned by pilot Peter Dobson. He went to Harry Lee's Avionics in Wickham and had this very neatly installed right there in the centre. It's not quite lined up with the control yoke, but it's not far off. It talks to the rest of the panel, including the Garmin 530, the Century Autopilot and the TCAS system. So why go for the Aspen? Peter explains. Zephyr as a system was something I'd always wanted over the mechanical instrumentation. Um, I looked at the Garmin 600 and at that time the 500 wasn't available, but the Aspen was uh, very suitable from my use in the air because I'm a low usage pilot. The work on the instrument panel was very limited. It just bolts in in place of the HSI and the uh, artificial horizon. The display is incredibly clear. Uh, it provides a lot of information, sometimes too much, but you can turn all that off. And it links well with the autopilot, so you can fly hands off very easily. My first impression is that it's incredibly clear. I had wondered how clear it would be because there's quite a lot of information in a relatively small screen compared to, say, the Garmin G600. But in fact, it's, it's pin sharp, and I've been watching it as the sun comes around with direct sunlight onto it, and it retains its clarity, so that's very good. It is fairly intuitive to work out what's going on. If you've had any experience at all with glass cockpits, you wouldn't have any problems at all with working it out. I did initially feel the fact that it wasn't completely central over the, the yoke might prove an issue, but in fact it's so close, it's not an issue at all. Right, so I've just entered the track to get us to Duxford, so it's displaying the track on there, which is a purple line. So if the weather was lousy, it's got to turn onto a heading of 249. And that, that would take us back. Have you shot an approach using it yet? I did a couple of ILSs. Um, I need to practice a lot more. <laughs> but the presentation is very clear. It's a nice piece of kit and it provides a good integrated platform um, with very selectable information so you can tailor the information you want. I mean the other thing is the redundancy on the equipment is extremely good. You can get uh, a vacuum failure and an electrical failure and the uh, Aspen keeps going because it's got its own internal battery for another 30 minutes by itself and uh, I feel very safe flying it. So that's the Aspen PFD. Not as big or as expensive as some of the others but perfect for an old aeroplane like this.